My name is uh, George Shegelov. I'm a co-founder of Rafame. I oversee operations at Rafame. I've been with the company from day one. Rafame is a uh, last mile logistics uh, cloud-based platform. We, our mission is uh, decarbonization and empowering our customers to be more effective and efficient in the field. Uh, we make complex simple. Uh, we take routes, we optimize them, dispatch them, and then afterwards, uh, we permit our customers to run analytics and uh, um, comprehensive analysis of what's actually happened in the field. At this point, we have over 2 million uh, downloads of our app. Um, we're constantly in the top 10 um, grossing applications in the navigation space, both Google Play and iOS. Financial structure is imperative uh, to any organization. When we were building to scale, we didn't need uh, an advanced AP platform. Uh, we could have just used, uh, we, we did, use just a bank account and just uh, basic tools. But as you scale and you introduce more and more people, we started to face a lot of different challenges from perspective of making sure that uh, all of our vendors get paid on time, uh, that uh, the cash flow is not an issue uh, throughout the business. So uh, scalability is imperative for us um, from that perspective. Um, in the early stages, of course, we know we used Bank of America to, to, to wire money, ACH. Then we tried Bill.com, which didn't was not ideal tool for us to be used as the company growing rapidly. It was applicable at that stage, but it was definitely not going to take us into the next stage as we're growing and we have more and more people, and we need the ability to to monitor and provide transparent view for for cost, internal customers to be able to execute payments. If we didn't pursue AP automation, we would just have to hire a dedicated person that would cost significantly more money to do the exact same thing with to accomplish the exact same goals. And more importantly, we'll actually have a lot more issues because humans make mistakes, there's constant uh, oversight that's required for that. With a platform, we don't have to worry about that because that allows us to uh, give each person in the organization specific role, such as an approval or uh, wiring the money out to Tipalti to complete the payment. So each person plays in uh, a role, but no one is sitting there 40 hours a week or 60 hours a week just doing that from morning to night. So as we were building to scale, we wanted a platform that's gonna be able to accommodate us in the future. We started to realize that there is, you know, we have to maintain people's bank accounts, people requesting constantly, can you update this for me, can you update that? I got a new bank account, oh, can you check uh, what bank account I have there. It's just constant going back and forth. It takes a lot of time. So we decided to, to switch to Bill.com because, you know, that was the prominent player at that time. And we felt that that was probably going to be able to accommodate us. When we started using it, we started to, to realize how many shortcomings they have. Anywhere from uh, ability to have proper approval process a, or uh, ability to do international payments. See, a lot of our vendors, because we're a global company, we have um, over, uh, we have vendors working for us in over 40 countries. And those vendors, some of them want to get paid in USD, not in the current currency. Um, so we had to use Bank of America, Bill.com, sometimes write checks. It was just sometimes PayPal. And it's just like going between those four different platforms, who did we pay, who did we not pay? Then you have to run and manage a different system on top of it. So it was, uh, we started to realize this is not going to permit us to scale. Today we use Tipalti um, for AP automation. So when we have a new vendor come in, we send them an invitation to them. Um, they get an invitation to with the register in a portal. They log in into portal, which is beautiful. They enter the contact information. If they're US-based, they populate their social security EIN number. Tipalti does validation of that, which is fantastic. After that, they populate the banking information, the method of payment they want to choose. After that, once we, uh, once we authenticate into the policy, we see if the vendor is payable or not. Uh, once in that, at that point, we can permit the vendor to submit the invoice. We get the invoice, and after that, we uh, automatically set who the person reports to, so that person can get uh, that person can like the manager can like in it to and approve that invoice or have a conversation uh, once the the, the, the invoice is uh, approved at that point um, it goes into proof section and there's a due date and we have net terms all managed through to policy um, when the payment is scheduled or we're about to schedule the approving person which is most of it's me today um, and uh, those payments go out for wires if you make it before the cutoff time it's the same day for ACH people get it the next day it's phenomenal product. Uh, international vendors have the ability to cho choose the currency. 
Um, a lot of vendors want to get paid in USD and some people want to get paid in the local currency. Tipati automatically does conversions and pays the vendor in whatever the, the currency uh, that they select. And we don't have to worry about what currency they want because vendor manages it through the portal. We don't anticipate that we're going to need a dedicated person managing Tipati. We already have an AP team that just manages uh, the, the, the accounting aspect of it and uh, finance aspect of it. But we don't need an admin managing Tipati because it's really self-service, extremely lean operational footprint. As we're scaling, as let's say we triple number of vendors, we triple the amount of quadruple number of business, triple number of vendors, whatever the, the, the case scenario is, I don't anticipate that we're going to need a dedicated person managing it because the manager of a sales team will still have to go and approve those invoices. The manager of the, the software development team will have to go and manage, approve those. Support manager is going to approve those invoices. And whoever manages whichever team or whatever the invoices are coming in, they approve those invoices. And so I don't anticipate that we're going to need to hire anyone else to do this because it's autonomous. The benefits that I see Deposit does is that we don't have to manage bank accounts. We don't have to manage vendors. They essentially self-manage themselves. Because once we invite them, we just manage their access to the system. But after that, they manage it themselves. As I see today, I think that a lot of vendors have significantly higher operational footprint to do exactly what we do extremely autonomously. And as a result, um, they're wasting a lot of money by keeping that dedicated AP person. And we don't have to. We, we make less mistakes. We are leaner. Uh, we're more self-service. And that's exactly who represents who we are as a company. So because we were able to automate the AP in our platform, um, at this moment, we, it permits us to focus on automating other parts of the business and to move, you know, making them as self service as possible, not focusing on uh, spending three or four hours a week doing account payables. It just allows us to do everything else required in the business.